We're gonna see if we can get right here on its back and just start chomping. Hmm. Well. What's going on guys? Welcome to the final episode, part one of our Ark Survival Evolved season one on the center map. We're almost done guys. So we're actually headed to the final spot where we're going to actually go into one of the obelisks and take one on one of the bosses. We just got a few of our dinos because we know it's probably going to be suicide. We don't really have a whole bunch of beefed up dinos where we can really take it on, but we want to try it anyways. Figure it's a season finale. Might as well go out. So we brought, you know, our Megalania so we can stick to some walls. Our, uh, Stego that's pretty high level, our two biggest carnivores of course, our Rex and our uh, Spino, and we got our Woolly Rhino which I hate to lose but we really want to try them out inside of here, and then a Deodon to see if they can actually heal. I've, I've heard that they don't heal inside of boss arenas but we want to try it out. So we're doing the, uh, the really long and slow and arduous trip over to the uh, closest obelisk so it's going to take us a while to get there. I just wanted to go ahead and intro the episode, we'll get over there and we'll jump into one of these obelisks. Let's do it. All right, so we've been looking all over the map for alphas, trying to level up some of our dinos. Haven't found any. All of a sudden, we get over here to this obelisk, and there's just one hanging out. So I'm going to go real quick. We're going to take our, let's see, I think we'll go with, we're going to take Hello over there. We're going to take our, our Rex over there. That's probably the most important one when it comes to going in there uh, that I need to be able to do lots and lots of damage and have lots of health. So we're going to take Hello over there. The other ones can follow us if they want to, as mainly as you can be. In fact, let's, let's not have anybody follow us, but we're just going to go in here and try and take this one out. It's level 130, so it takes just a minute, but we should do just fine. Take out anything else that's in the area, too. We're doing pretty massive damage, so we should be just fine once these Rexes, uh, once these uh, Brontos go down. And these little pesky raptors underneath us, too. Oh, oh, we're glitching a little bit. No glitch. Oh, get rid of this dumb raptor. There we go. Get that guy out of here. All right. This guy's going to heal up eating these things up. We are stuck over here, of course. There we go. All right. Let's go take this guy out. He's only doing 144 hits, so we should be just fine once we get this guy out of the way. We'll probably be overburdened with all the meat from this uh, Bronto here. Uh, pretty big battle. Level 130, the highest I think we've taken out. Uh, on this single player playthrough, so it probably take just a minute to get this guy even bloody. Let's see how long it takes. So we're doing pretty big damage here. He's not doing too much, so I'm not too worried about that. Plus I have the day down with me to help heal up if I need to. Luckily we weren't so close that they were going to accidentally attack. That's good. Alright, there we go. Big battle, big battle. All right, this might take, there we go. You can see he's way bloody now. Should go down any minute. Hopefully at least get a level out of this. Come on, getting close, let's go, let's go. Take him out, take him out. Eat the, eat the alpha, eat the alpha, let's go. There you go, he's about to go down. Super bloody now, he's hurting. We got a, there we go. Alpha T-Rex 130, taking him out. There's nothing too close. Oh, there's a horse. There's something else we've been looking for this whole time. Um, uh oh. He's taking off. He's still on follow. Okay. That was a little scary. So, Alpha T Rex trophy and Alpha T Rex tooth. We'll take it. Alright, let's make a rush to get our guys back before we get attacked or anything. Alright, so like I said, we brought just a few of our guys over here. Uh, we've got. Our Megalania, just we're going to try and climb on some walls and see if he's at all useful inside the actual uh, obelisk once we go into the, the base, uh, the boss arena. And then we got our highest Stego, which is 242. Got pretty decent damage, like 1800% damage. We got Finn, level 271. Got pretty awesome uh, melee on this one too. One, 1,529, 24,000 health. And then of course our T-Rex which looks like I got two levels up there. We need to heal it up a little bit. And we're sitting at almost 2,000 melee. So 
super amped up because of the way we did our sliders this season, so they should both uh, do really well for us in there. Hopefully, we'll see. It's probably still just a suicide mission, but this is going to be uh, a, a two-part of the finale for our final episode on the center map, so we want to make sure we go out with a bang, even if it's a, a bad bang. All right, and then we're going to take our date on in to see if it does any healing. Like I said, we've, we've heard that the healing actually uh, does not work inside of the boss arena, but we're going to find out. So we're going to upgrade its food one more time. And then we also have probably our favorite dino of the season, Bash, level 278. If nothing else, I want to be able to take at least one running start and get a hit with this guy on one of the bosses so we can do some of the damage that this guy does. So hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. We'll have to see. But, all right, I'm going to take a few minutes. i got to get these guys all uh, settled in on the obelisk, and i got to get my weapons off of the... I think my weapons are all on the spine or the wrecks, because I put them on there because the, the Megalania couldn't carry me. So I'm going to take a few minutes to get prepped up, and then we will go in and face one of the bosses on the center map for the season finale of ARC. We'll be right back. All right, we've gotten almost everyone situated. Finally, it took just about forever. I'll make sure they're on all stop real quick. Oh, well, they're all still following somebody. Okay, we should be okay as long as I don't get stuck here. So I think I got everything on the terminal. Uh, make sure I had a couple artifacts that I didn't want to put on here that I accidentally brought over here. I had misread what I needed. So I placed those on Bash, and I love Bash over there. Honestly, I, I don't want to lose Bash. I'm kind of worried to lose him. So <laughs> I've had too much fun with him this season. Didn't want to lose him. We're going to use him for the second part of this finale. So let's, let's go ahead and go into the Tribute Terminal. Hopefully we have everything we said. All right. So we should be good. And, and I actually don't know. What, what, what do I press here? Uh, craft. Oh, I put too much of some of the things in there. Okay, I just kind of brought like close to 10 of everything. So everyone should be inside the terminal here. I always love how this one looks. But th this is the center. Let's see. Up to 10 survivors and 20 creatures. You're going to teleport in 15 seconds. Uh, it says I'm good to level up, which I'm not really worried about. We'll worry about that in a minute if we don't die right away. So I, I didn't do any homework on this. I know the center map. Uh, are we okay? We're not moving. Okay, who made it in? Okay, looks like everyone, I guess, made it in. Now we just gotta see. I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't really know what we gotta do here first. I know that, what is that? The Mega... Uh, I can't tell. Was it? it looked like level 104 though? So we are gonna put, I guess, put all of them on follow. Okay, so I'm gonna put. I can, man, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to go over there, but we're gonna put, I guess, all of them on follow. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea. Oh, you know, let's let's do that. Let's uh, let's get on the stego. I'll we'll put. I'll follow, and then I'll tell the Stego to follow me, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> so I honestly have not taken on these guys single player ever. I don't even know if it's possible, if we even get a lick in, I'm not even sure. I'm sure once some of these bad guys start coming, we're going to die pretty quickly, but we wanted to try it out anyway. Let's see, everyone's at least following us. Alright, I have no idea. So it, it does look like we're like in the area above the redwood forest. That's kinda cool looking. I like the way this looks. Just as long as we don't die like right right away. I'd like to at least get one hit in. Oh gosh, I had no idea. So I see the timer up there. I guess let me level up real quick and get that out of the way. Let's see. There we go. Okay, which way do we go? Which way do we go? <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep running in this way. See, I see the little thing pop up for their names over there. I don't know which one we're supposed to take on first. 
Hmm. Do we still got everybody? All right. Okay, this is where we should see them, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Level 124. I thought this would be easier. Level 124 doesn't sound like the easy version. <laughs> Man, that's not great. All right, make sure you guys are on neutral. Hopefully I don't die very first shot. All right. We don't have a lot of rockets. Like I said, we didn't have a lot of supplies for this, so. Okay, it's happening. Oh, is it? Is it? Okay, maybe it's not yet. Yeah, they're definitely coming this way. Uh, everybody's just kind of running around crazy. This is what happens when you're running around scared. Okay, it's happening. All right, if nothing else, we got at least one shot in. That's that's. <laughs> at least we're one shot. Oh, reload, reload. Like I say, we may not have any chance against this guy. That's okay. I know we're going to lose some really cool teams, but it happens. All right, you guys can attack any time. There we go. All right, get in there and start attacking, guys. I hope I don't do any damage when they're in there like that. So we got some pretty good damage going. Hopefully it doesn't freeze our game up with all those messages. Uh, please don't hit my own guys. I'm not even sure. All right, they're at least doing some damage. You see, their Reynos are level 400. Hey, we're actually doing some damage there. Look, it's actually taking them down some. I don't know if we got a chance. It doesn't look like I, I don't see any healing going on, so the Daydown might not be doing anything. Oh, we're getting massive. Hmm. Are we freezing so bad? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Make sure they're all attacking that same guy. I don't see the Rex anymore. Oh, give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna pause it and try and get rid of these uh, the the damage message. I don't know if I can do that without going back to the main menu. Okay, I I couldn't find where I did it, and I don't want to risk. Uh, Messing with something that I shouldn't in here. Alright, so it looks like our Stego is still doing some awesome damage over there. I wish I could see a little bit better. This is pretty crazy. There's what we got going on right there. Man, that is crazy. So many Arenos in there. He might be getting close to half. Uh... The Rex is still doing massive damage here. We're doing good there. Oh, man, so much freezing going on. Our Xbox is not liking this many numbers on the screen at once. Man, I wish we could... Let me see. Oh, I can't even click anything now. Oh, no, do we completely freeze the game? We may have. Oh, man, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me... Uh, play with this for a second see if see if we got kicked out or see what happened all right guys so we, we got kicked out it froze up on us we had to uh, pretty much uh, go to the Xbox menu and actually quit out of the game so the good news is you keep all your dinos so I guess that's like a fail safe way how to exit out so you don't lose your dinos I guess so that's good but uh unfortunately everything that was in the obelisk is now gone so we got nothing left in the obelisk. We're pretty much uh, without anything. Uh, pretty bummed out about that. I'm going to have to go back to the base. I know we have most of the stuff to be able to do this. Um, we definitely have the Megalodon Tooth, the Tyrannosaurus Arm, the Archie Talon. I'm not sure on the Sauropod uh, vertebrae. And then the Artifacts, I'm not 100% sure. I know we have multiples of a few of them, but I'm not sure if we have all four of those. So I'm going to have to go check that out. I'm going to go see what we do have. 
Uh, and if it's a cave that's easy to run into, I'll run in and get it real quick. If it doesn't, honest answer, we're going to have to spawn it in. Because uh, losing it like that, that's just that kind of sucks for the game to crash like that. So I'm going to work for a few minutes to get this stuff back. And then uh, we will try again. Okay, we're trying this one more time. Uh, we've got our RG talents, uh, our artifacts, our Megalodon tooth. Vertebrae and T-Rex arm. Did I forget anything? Uh, we don't have very good armor on. That's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Alright. Alright. We should be good. Last thing I didn't think of, so I guess it's kind of good. We're going to make it to where it disable item collection. I guess it really only matters for the big guys. Oh, he's already on that, so okay. Okay, should be going in now. Here we go. Attempt number two. Hopefully this one's better than the first one. We shall see. Oh, kind of frozen. Don't freeze in the beginning. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. Hopefully it works out again. We're just going to get on the Stego. Give us an all follow. And I'm going to tell Stego to follow me. So that way they won't bunch up too bad. And then I can hopefully tell them to go ahead and... Uh, oh, it's already on Enable Follow. Is it? I'm not really sure. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully no one gets stuck. Do we have everybody? I think this is everybody. Oh, and we did. We kind of forgot to say it, but we actually did... We brought our monkey, too. I'm not sure where it went to. Do we have it on our shoulder? We don't. Did our monkey not make it in with us? We'll know in a minute. If you see some uh, damage from a monkey, that'll be the our little monkey that we snuck into the level with us too. We figured, why not bring him along? He we tamed him up early in the season and never even thought about him again. So, figured he get, should get some action. All right, here we go. Take two. The bosses. Once we get around these corners up here. Uh, a little further, a little further. Everyone's still with me? Let's go. <laughs> no, my luck, I'll run up here and get one-shotted. So at least we get to try it again. Uh, we were doing pretty good damage-wise. So this one, it shouldn't... I, I went into the options, shut off the damage uh, floating number. So we shouldn't see that again. Because I think that's what caused our problem. I don't know if we're going to be able to get as lucky and only have one of these guys come once again. Put everyone on neutral. And I'm going to attempt to get the broodmother over here again. Oh, there it goes. It, we're good. There we go. At least make it mad. <laughs> Alright. We're going to get way back here. I don't want to get hit. All right. Hopefully, she'll get close enough again. Oh, she's already shooting. Definitely a little nervous. All right. You got to at least come to me. Come on now. Wow, look at those Arthroplora. So many Arthroplora. All right. Last thing I want to... I don't want to send my guys over there. I'm hoping that... And get her to come this way. I want to keep attracting her this way because I don't want to get over there ne next to that giant monkey. Oh god. Alright. I think we're okay. Let's do this. Oh! Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Is everybody in there? Hopefully our Rex is in there. Okay, we're, we're seeing some Moreno's die again. That's a good sign. Alright, let's, let's switch to our rockets. We'll start shooting as many rockets as we can. Oh, did we click the wrong one here? Yeah, we clicked the wrong one. Alright. Alright, cool. Lots of Moreno's going down. There we go. Oh, don't go too far that way. You're going to get the other boss involved. 
Okay, we're still good right now. Oh man, that'd be awesome if we could actually beat that one. Okay, I hope this doesn't hurt my own guys. There we go. Let's get a couple kills in there. Act like I did something important. Alright. Keep taking them out. Oh, level 400 Arenos. That's just crazy. Like, I can't even get really involved. <laughs> I think we're still going to freeze. It feels like every time there's a few more deaths, we're getting close to dying. Or, uh, close to freezing again. Please don't happen. I really would like to see this go through this time. Come on now. Oh, man. All right, while we're fighting this guy, I do want to say, hey, we did order some actual acoustic like panels that we can throw up on our walls to try and try and deal with some of this echo. Our echo has been absolutely crazy. So I know the echo has been really bad. Hopefully you guys can at least hear me in this episode. Oh, God, man. Come on now. Please don't freeze. I feel like we're doing good. Okay. Spino, you're not even attacking the right guy. Whistle, attack, target. There we go, there we go. Alright. Turn around, Spino. Get back in there. Get back in there, Spino. Oh, at least our, our Rex is at least wrecking shot, but I don't know how close they're getting. I can't see any blood. And our Spino is just stuck. Oh, why isn't our Spino getting in there? There you go, there you go. Oh man, if these Arenos are high enough level that we can't even mess with them. Stay back. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's see, the Xbox still has a little bit of problem with this, uh, with this boss arena for sure. Oh, reload, reload. So much freezing. So much. Oh, no, are you kidding me? My Xbox controller says it's dead. <laughs> no, no, no. Frantically switching batteries. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. <laughs> That was a little bit scary. Oh no. There goes your there goes our spino. So we just lost Finn. Complete disaster. Oh, get back in there, Rex. Do as much damage as you can. Oh man, I can't believe. We lost one. I think I just hit my own Rex. That probably didn't help. Oh, so much freezing. This will make for a great video with all this freezing. Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to go back and edit out most of the freezing so it doesn't seem as bad. But it is definitely pretty close to unplayable. Oh, look, can we at least fire a couple rockets at this guy? Alright, let's just keep... Oh, oh, is it mad at us? Alright, keep attacking. Just attack just this guy. Don't attack anybody else. Oh man, it just keeps spawning out level 400 freaking arenas. There's just no way. Why do they keep attacking something else? Don't attack anything else. So, we've at least lasted longer than we thought we would, but this is obviously not going great. Hella is getting crazy amount of kills, so that's that's great, but in terms of the actual uh, boss, I don't think we're doing too much damage. And we are frozen once again. Here we go. <laughs> Shot that somewhere in between being frozen, I don't even know. Uh, the nice thing is I'm not even seeing the reload time, because it's happening... You know, while I can't see anything on my screen. We're just going to keep firing as fast as we can. Come on, come on, unfreeze. 
So if you guys see a bunch of little like time lapses, it's just me trying to, I'm gonna try and edit out as much of the freezing as I can, because it's happened pretty much every few seconds now. Uh, it's pretty much uh, go for a few seconds and then freeze for a few seconds. And there goes the stay go. Our stay goes down. So it's pretty much uh, just, I think our data on died a long time ago if it's even in there. I don't even know. Hella has 30,000 damage, but there's not much it can do one on this many. So we're pretty much going to fire until we die. Is Hella still up? Hella is still fighting. Still doing great things. We're down to 16 minutes, 48 seconds. Oh, okay. There's rocket launcher broke. Oh, it's over. And we just lost Hella. That's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> so our big bad Rex is gone. Uh, I wish we could see how much... Uh, damage this one does have I don't see that we can do too much here at least get a few shots on it before we do go down horribly the thing is just crazy oh. I want to say on the island it come they, they spawn at much lower levels this is just this is just too much and now without the floating damage text, I'm not 100% sure that I'm hitting. <laughs> oh, and it's dropping off all its minions here. Pretty much one of its arenos could just completely take me out. There we go. We're at least going to take a few of your people down before we die. Take him out. Take him out. <laughs> so TBF Gaming's final stand here. <laughs> So we at least lasted 10 minutes, but it didn't mean anything in the long run. It's all over now. <laughs> oh, these are just such high level. Why are they such high level? And now we're... Oh yeah, we're, it's almost over. We're webbed. Look at that. One shot doesn't even kill these guys. Oh, man. Just so many. Alright, let's... Let's turn and run, and we're going to try to hightail it past them in the other direction. Let's see if we can get a few more shots on the Broodmother. And it looks like our encoding software is messed up anyway. Okay, here we go. Kamikaze run to get on the other side of the Broodmother. Get past these Arenos, hopefully. Alright. Don't get webbed. Don't get webbed. Go, 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 go. Oh, how fast can you run, buddy? This is why I upgrade your speed. Oh, he's dropping off so many minions. Look at that. That is nuts. Oh, I can just hear him behind me. Oh, look how many there are. I'd like to, I wish I could count how many. I almost want to pause it just so I can see how many there are. <laughs> okay, at least we're killing a few before we go down again. I think this uh, rocket launcher is about to break too. Oh, we're getting away. Nope, we missed it. Okay. Man. There's just no good place to kite here. At least in the Broodmother Arena, you can kite a little bit. Here, there's just no chance. Oh, and there's, there's a whole bunch of web. Oh, it's over. They're so close to us. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and the Daedon just now died. Wow. Somehow the Daedon lasted uh, quite a long time. Oh, man. Well, that was our failed attempt there. So spawn over close to our base. Uh, go back and get my Rhino. That's going to be it for part one. Man. All right. So that's going to do it for part one of our season finale. So this should release on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure what day. And then we will get started on the Ragnarok season one should be out on the 4th of July according to the uh, homepage. So we're going to do this for part one. And then for part two, we're going to finally use our dire wolf army. Uh, we've got close to 100 dire wolves now. We've been doing just crazy amount of breeding. So we started with our original, uh, you know, six, seven, eight, whatever it was that we originally breed, uh, uh, or not breed, they originally tamed. And then it's been just straight breeding since then. Uh, we've been nonstop breeding for the past uh, few weeks. And we're up to, and single player it takes a while because you have to wait 
you know a couple hours for the cool down to, to work on the mating so uh, we've been <laughs> working pretty hard to get a few more uh, wolves we're right right at 100 right now I want to say we're at like uh, 93 and we'll do one more bash to get over that 100 mark and then we're gonna take our direwolf army along with the Uteranus and uh, go just kind of some uh, wreak some havoc around the countryside and then maybe we'll go ahead and just take them into a boss arena even though they have no chance we'll take you know 20 wolves in there and just to see you know if they can do a little bit of damage before they go down so all right thanks for listening to me ramble if you guys could like comment subscribe check out part two of the season finale and we'll see you in the next season Thank you.